Welcome! This is your LSR Brokerage Team with a brief tutorial on how to complete an Umbrella Excess Submission for all your markets. What this will do is help expedite the process and receipt of your competitive quote. Let's get started! All markets will require 6 to 7 key items depending on the risk. The Chord 125, the 126, and the 131, any supplemental apps from your underlying carriers, 5-year hard copy loss runs, and copies of all underlying quotes or the policies if available. If this is a trucking risk, you'll also be required to submit current MVRs and the make, model, VIN for all power units to be scheduled on the policy. In this video, we'll be going through the Accord 131 with you. It has a lot to fill out, but we'll point out the most important details needed. Starting with the basic information, please fill out the date, your agency name, and the name of the insured. Following down to the policy information section, you'll need to check whether this is new business or renewal, whether you're looking for umbrella or excess coverage, and whether you're needing it on an occurrence or claims made basis. Then you can skip over and fill out the limits of liability desired. Moving down to the primary location in subsidiaries box, you'll need to enter the primary location and the description of operations. Continuing to the right, be sure to include all annual payroll, annual gross sales, and the number of employees. This is vital information as many of your umbrella excess markets will categorize your insured based on these figures. Moving on to the most important section of the page, you'll now be completing the underlying insurance information. The very first block is for your automobile liability policy information. Be sure to indicate the name of your carrier and the policy number the policy effective and expiration date, the limits of liability, and the annual premium. One of the many things that we often find is that the auto liability premium is overstated. Let's take a look at an underlying auto policy. Please be sure to only pick up the auto liability premium. Don't pick up any premiums for med pay, physical damage, collision, etc. If you do so, you can overstate your premium, which results in an inflated total umbrella excess premium. Your next block is for your general liability policy information. You'll need to indicate whether it's occurrence or claims made. Again, the name of your carrier, policy number, policy dates, the limits, and the annual premium. The following section is for your employer's liability information. Once again, you will list the name of the carrier, the policy number, policy dates, the limits, and the annual premium. If you want excess over any other policy, such as professional liability or pollution, you can include those in the blank spaces provided. Make sure to include the same info required for all other lines of coverage. On page 2 of the Accord, there are quite a few questions here. We'll take you through the items that are the most necessary to complete and just briefly walk you through the other questions shown. Starting at the top, question 1 requires response as the carriers are looking for clarification as to whether the defense costs are within the policy limits, a separate limit, or unlimited. 99% of your policies are going to be unlimited. Questions 2 through 6 should be answered if the information is available but are not detrimental to securing a quick quote. The next section of boxes are really just asking, does the insured have these coverages and exposures? If so, you'll need to check only the items that apply. Following that, you're being asked about the underlying insurance coverage information. They want to know about all the different endorsements that may have been added to your insurance policy. The easiest way to complete this? Just write, see quotes attached. And then be certain to attach copies of all quotes on your underlying. The quotes will show all exclusions and endorsements. The next question asks about previous experience and any losses that exceed $10,000. Again, to simplify, just write C loss runs attached. You'll need five years of hard copy loss runs for each underlying coverage. The following section is for care, custody, and control. If you're named insured at any time takes custody or control of another person's property, you'll need to complete this section. If not, move on to vehicles. Filling out the vehicles portion is important. The company is looking for information on the types of vehicle that the insured has, whether they are owned, non-owned, or leased, the property being hauled, and the radius. Make sure under type that you specifically list the number of light, 
medium, heavy, or extra heavy trucks that apply to any of the broken down categories. On pages 3 and 4 of the Accord, you'll see that the next 28 questions are broken down into 10 different types of liability exposures that may be applicable to the insured. You'll need to respond with a yes-no answer only to the sections that pertain to the insured. The final page of the Accord 131 is the signature page. Please have your insured sign the application verifying the accuracy of the information provided. Let's review a quick checklist that will help you recall the most vital items needed for a complete submission. You'll need to attach the Accord 125, the 126, and the 131, a copy of supplemental applications from your underlying carrier, five-year hard copy loss runs, copies of all underlying quotes or policies, current MVRs, and the make, model, VIN of all power units. Well, that concludes our tutorial. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and we hope that the information provided will help you be more confident in completing a complex application like the 131. The more information you provide, the better we can serve you. If you have any questions, we are always available to help. Feel free to contact Hilda Parada or Laura Lopez at the numbers and emails provided on the screen. Check out our website for more videos to come. Once again, thank you and have a great day.